chest day. The shreds. The veins are coming through. We're down five pounds. Welcome to the video. Full push day on my cut. A little bit of cardio afterwards. We're with the boys. It might get a little rowdy. So we got a little bench crew. We're gonna start on incline. Welcome to the video. Let's get it. We chased that deadlift this winter, and technically we hit it. We hit an all-time deadlift PR, 660 conventional, I think. I gained a little bit of weight because of holidays and because I'm training strength. Like I got this mental weakness where I just feel like I need more food, which is not always true, but that's just how I roll. So I gained a little bit more than I wanted in the bulk. Um, last summer we got down to 194 consistently. Um, and that was probably the leanest I've been, uh, which, it, you know, pop a picture here, is decent. Not bodybuilder, but decent for me. You know, I played basketball and stuff, and maybe I was leaner with less muscle mass, which is hard to say. Uh, so now the goal is to have more muscle and get leaner than last year. I think I already do have more muscle just based on performance in the gym and looks. Uh, I'm like 208, 210 right now. So based on those looks, I think I got a little more muscle. But the ultimate goal is to still get below that. So if I can get to 193, 192, 190 with more muscle, be leaner, we'll be happy. I don't know, man. We don't know. Uh, so last summer, cardio got a little weird because I was getting lazy. Why did it get weird? Oh, my bike broke. Yeah. My bike broke. And so I think that's one reason cardio got a little lazy. Right now I'm on like a nice little cycle of cardio, mostly for my health. You know, we trained with Tim Kennedy and that really fired me up. Uh, I'm never inspired by stuff like that, but he kind of got me fired up. So twice a week on, on, on a wave, I'm doing like an EMOM. So like an assault bike, uh, rower, uh, toes to bar, medicine ball, kettlebell. It will do every minute on the minute or every two minutes on the minute. So kind of a, a moderate intensity cardio. Day after that, I've been going for like a 10, 15 mile bike ride. Day after that, I've uh, been doing like a 30 minute walk. So just getting my steps in really, but um, still a, a way to move more than I normally would. And I've been doing that about three, three day cycles. So about six days a week um, on top of the lifting. Since December, I uh, really locked in my cooking, right? We always talk about building habits, so I locked in my cooking. Uh, I've been shopping more rather than eating out, so I've been eating more whole foods, and now is the time I can lock into the tracking the food itself. So I'll probably drop myself down to about 1,700 calories. I've probably been cruising about 1,800, but then again, we filmed with Barbara Brigade, and I had like French toast with Russ. What else we had? We had burgers with Dave and Lucas. So I had, barbecue. yeah, a bunch of barbecue everywhere. So it was a little, you know, here and over there, probably higher in fat than I need. So I'm gonna lock in about 1,700 calories right now and see where the weight goes. I already feel leaner just by eating the whole foods, getting my, my proteins guaranteed at 200 grams a day, um, and we'll slowly progress from there. Biggest thing is like any science project or experiment or survey, whatever, we need to control variables. So I have my lifting's been controlled. Now my cardio is locked in, and if those six days are accurate every single uh, week, and then we'll lock in the 17, 1750 cals, wait two, three, four weeks, see what happens to the scale, see what happens to the looks, and then adjust from there. Yeah, we can answer anything y'all got. So whether you're trying to diet, you got trouble with nutrition, cardio, lifting weights, how that all meshes together, um, feel free, man. Fire below in the comments, and we'll handle them in probably one, one video a week, really dive in to the cut, dive into y'all. Maybe I'll take my shirt off and show you some progress. I don't really want to, but we got to shave, get a tan, and then we'll show you. Look, the veins are coming, slowly. 
slowly. And the strength feels pretty good. Uh, you know, it's obviously different when you're bodybuilding versus powerlifting. I'm measuring it based on three plates and how powerful I feel there, but you know, volume, intensity, and the weight I'm using in these accessories or in these variations are feeling pretty good. So ask your questions, we'll help you out best I can. I'm uh, kind of a sissy. Today's my bike ride day. I talk about the cardio waves, but it's so windy. And the path I ride, shout out Sacramento, Third Street Barbell, that's where we're at, Capital California. Um, we have a really cool pedestrian bike path, but the route I take to do almost exactly 10 miles um, is on a levee over the river. So it's beautiful and the, the sun's great and all that, but it's hella windy. Not hella, but it's like 10 miles per hour right now and going south to north and that's the path. So I just know it would make it like 30 times harder. So I'm being a little bit of a sissy and instead I'm gonna do a spin bike half an hour, which is roughly what it would take me to do 10 miles. Go home, and then I'm gonna eat and back to work. So if you guys wanna get involved, man, comment below any questions on diet, nutrition, getting shredded, getting jacked. And then uh, we'll probably do another episode soon and talk about or show what I eat. And then maybe we'll do a full day of eating on a cut, eating out to match up with our uh, ranked. So we did a tier system on the best fast food to diet. Appreciate y'all for listening, man. 3sb.co. Get involved. Be sure to subscribe. Good company, discord.com for early drops, early access, and a like-minded community, man. We over me. Be a part of something. Being yourself. Community and culture always, man. Sell the mic. I'm out.